Definitely be something Let's that see what they're selling! Eyes. Welcome. Every treasure... <laughs> yep! There's nothing here that Paimon recognizes. That's for sure. <laughs> what did I tell you? These are all rare items brought back by adventurers from all corners of the world. Is there anything that catches your eye? No need. I forgot to mention, I operate on a trading basis. Goods for goods. No more I accepted here. I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of Animo sigils to decorate it with. Do you have any Animo sigils with you? It's like a seal or emblem that the Animo Archon gives to adventurers as a form of acknowledgement. More to the point, any animal sigils you find you can trade in here for items in the shop. sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you find yourself short, just keep exploring. Absolutely! What could be more beautiful than a gift from the Animal Archon? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's actually more complicated than that, but it's easier for people to understand if I just say it's for decoration. Obviously, the reason I need Animal sigils is because they have properties that other materials cannot provide. Of course. I guarantee you will be quite surprised at the result. Do come again soon, and bring me lots and lots of Animo sigils next time. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful treasures on your adventures. Pick up some new pieces from Shows' place. Come take a look. someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <sighs> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... 
I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine, that's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Oh, you're back. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Oh, them? They're super famous! Wait, infamous is more the word. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo Gods' power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tivat. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. This is bad. Such a hassle. <sighs> what am I going to do? Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out! I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? It's a 
crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Hmm. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. Its change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grand Master entrusted the Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I must get to the bottom of this. Those people in strange uniforms are Fatui. They're here as delegates from Snezhnaya. Stay away from them. Having contact with them is dangerous, even for innocent travelers. You can visit whenever you need to look something up. Naturally, the library is free to access. Just don't forget to return books on time, or you'll make my job difficult. The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? We need people to... Need people for doing... We just need more people. tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him, that green guy. He looked just like that guy down there.
disappeared. Use Elemental Sight to track him down. Footprints lead to this wall. Did he climb up from here? I gave you last time. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but... We've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way. The Knights of Avonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Avonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild. Leaving
leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the divine Archon still walked the earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dolce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept. As a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in the land, over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave cause, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war spread. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber. Only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer see. that scared Dvalin away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so... Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. Good day, Outlander. Seems we meet again. I'm Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? 
Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Of course it's about Storm Terror! Storm? Hey! Cut it with the amnesia act! All right, show it to him. Oh, isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified? When? Devalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright should she stand in the light, though stand in the shade and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Devalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye. Huh, what do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Know what? Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows! It's that huge tree! You know, the gigantic one. You can't miss it. Surely you still remember. The folk songs here are all so wise. <laughs> This place will do. Tell us what it's about already. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. My lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. 
but the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a Hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. The world we live in is fascinating, full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. That's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow! Great! Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword! Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? for something that boring. We are looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. That's what Paimon said. It's a super epic sword. Anyway, it's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins? Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Gaia first. I am interested in your search, but I just don't have any intel for you.
Oh, you're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well, nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the black market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles by the knights. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Sound very good. Add Astra at...
Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. He's a traveler. He has to deal with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially, but now I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well, then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. Right. W wait, is that it? There's also this map that came with it. This be the experts the spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, should be a piece of cake for you, right? I'm gonna lead you to it then. Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile. Three six armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out.
I'm so sleepy. <sighs> Mr. Draft always gets so drunk.
Hunters, hold on! <gasps> Meat is the meaning of life.
picky. However you do it is fine. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a huntsman. Picky.
This statue of the Seven seems to be affected by a monster nearby. Defeating that monster might remove this strange wind current seal thingy around the statue of the Seven. Da 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 I 
wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. La da 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 I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Shock. <laughs>
Closer. Seems all the other night. Ah! <laughs> 
It sure took a lot of work. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. So, now... You read my mind! Paimon's so happy! Let's go for it! Don't want anyone else to get there before we do. Like... Like the treasure hoarders Gaia told us about. Anyways, Paimon just wants to borrow the sword to... Uh, uh... No, you are nothing. Paimon, uh... Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> Alright, Paimon will save the chit-chat for later. 
Arcadian treasure hunt, here we go! I didn't know you were such a slacker.
What's the hurry? Hey, get him! Uh, bet you can't keep up with me!
are you? Here to play with me? Yeah. Uh. The mother, the <laughs> Move it all to me.
on. Well, neither do I. Have you killed Joy? We've only just begun. You can't run. Well, neither do I.
Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, nice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us. Here, let me help you.
Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? I'll let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However, they're not as uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them in Mondstadt Prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to steal your treasure! Get him! Oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? 
<laughs> you got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of Fav Wait, what are you- You're not gonna get me! Okay, oh god, Whoa, what is this? I didn't mean it. <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, knight! You're not gonna watch me die, are ya? Hmm, what an interesting suggestion. Fine, I I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me! All right then, guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Try not to enjoy this too much. How embarrassing, having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised, or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. Ah, you're a bad man for lying to me! Shame on the night! All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise, you would have informed me of your intentions, no? That... well... uh... hmm... Let's go! I'm on done talking to him! <laughs> just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant Harbinger of Dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this Harbinger of Dawn as a reward. Harbinger of Dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn, You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a surprise that you solved the puzzles all by yourself and arrived before me. So it was you who left all those clues? Indeed. However, even I believed the clues were too vague to be of any help to you. I was prepared to answer your questions. Quite impressive. This was the only thing that I did not anticipate in the entire operation. Ha! That was nothing! 
No matter what you say, I acknowledge your wisdom. After all, wisdom itself does not deceive. But some people do enjoy deceiving others with their wits. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance. He's still following us. Yeah. 
Here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal Animo Slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an Animo Slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. <laughs>
nailed it! But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Devalin? It's because gods... um... Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. The wind! I can't open my eyes! What is a creature like that doing? <laughs> Deeper than yours. No escape. With the wind. The dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? <sighs> Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Devalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, 
Before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was... interrupted? As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Yes, it was you! So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral! The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel.
Ah, ancient alchemy truly is fascinating. Has the most prosperous commercial for you. We meet again, Ab. Are your adventures going smoothly? That is the spirit. Keep it up. It seems that you have a wealth of experience under your belt now. Time to introduce you to the formal work of the guild. The guild receives requests from far and wide each day, and assigns commissions to adventurers accordingly. These commissioned adventures are the main source of compensation for our guild members. What kind of commissions are they? It is a mixed bag. Anything from running an errand for fellow citizens to dealing with monsters. Some are textbook, others are extremely dangerous. But you do not have to take my word for it. You should find out for yourself. Here you can find the details of today's commissions. Please report back to me upon completion. There will be a generous reward waiting for you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. I await your return with great anticipation. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Astra Abbot. Someone to chant to would be better. Thank you. 
Ad Astra Ab... Nice to meet you. 